All right, good morning. It is around noon on June, what is this, uh, June 11th, uh, 2023. We are here just outside the city of Kenai uh, on the Kenai Peninsula, and we are going to walk through uh, Cunningham Park. It is not an RV park. It's not even a day use. This is uh, fully open, fully free. There's no fees. It's just a, a little park by the river. Uh, people come here to do uh, salmon and do some hooligan dip netting. Uh, we swung by, we didn't want to see if we the tail end of dip, uh, the hooligan dip netting season. Uh, but uh, we're actually going to move on because this, uh, uh, I'll walk through it, but it's not a great place for people kids. It's actually a little bit uh, more dangerous. We're just going to do a quick walk through this little quick video. Uh, just show you here. Again, this is not a camping spot, this is not an RV spot. Uh, it's just a little park by the uh, Kenai River. Uh, upstream from the mouth. Uh, we're about 10, 15 minutes from the city of Kenai. Um, so, uh, you know, it's uh, not a big deal. Um, but anyway, let's do this uh, quick little walkthrough. I'll show you why we're moving on um, and why we decided not to stay here. Um, so follow me. This will be a quick video. All right. Uh, like I said, this is Cunningham Park right outside the uh, city of Kenai. Um, this uh, memory of Martha Cunningham. Okay. Uh, no overnight camping. This is not a campsite. Okay, so do not, uh, uh, you're not coming here to camp. Um, there's, uh, you could probably pull a small RV through, but what you're looking at is the parking lot. There is no pull through. Um, so this really isn't a, a large vehicle spot. Um, this is this is it, okay? Uh, well, I, one thing I kind of thought was a little interesting is uh, the city of, this little workstation here, the city of, uh, Kenai has put in a little bicycle repair stand here. Kind of cute. Um, you know, it's got some uh, little tools so you can work on your bike if you need to. Uh, you know, so if you're traveling through with a bike, uh, it's got a little air pump here all, uh, you know, glued in or glued, welded in. Uh, I thought it, this was funny because, uh, you know, people come here to fish. People don't camp, but they fill this place up when the salmon are running or the hooligan. Uh, but there's no water here, but there is a bike repair rack. Uh, so it doesn't affect us, but if you uh, have a bicycle and you want to pump up your tire, there you go. I thought that was cute. So, all right. So, like I said, this is a quick video, guys. This is, this is literally all you have. Um, there is a uh, pit latrine here. Uh, here in early June, it is reasonably clean in there. Um, there is no dumpster, but there is a 55-gallon drum. You can put some trash in there. I say it in every one of my videos. I'll say it again. Please pack out your own trash. And if you feel like uh, earning a couple extra points towards heaven, pack out somebody else's trash. Okay. This is right off the Kenai Spur Highway. Um, and it is pretty windy here, so I will... Uh, uh, so hopefully you can hear me just fine. All right, there are a couple more uh, trash cans up there. Okay, uh, one thing that as we've stopped a, a few places here, uh, the Kenai River is big into uh, habitat preservation vegetation, so uh, you'll see these signs for habitat res uh, restoration uh, protection. Um, definitely the Kenai River gets a ton of foot traffic, a ton of fishing traffic, um, and so do your part, follow the signs. Uh, if there's a fence there, if it says don't go, just don't go. You know, uh, your livelihood is not at stake here. So you're here to have fun and make sure that your kids can have fun both now and in the future. So uh, do your part. Stay out of places you're not supposed to. Uh, I'll do a close-up. These are the park rules. Okay. Um, throughout the winter months, they're open till midnight. Now, there isn't a gate there, so I don't know how they enforce that. But it's 24-7 during the summer. And then some just general park rules there for you. Okay. Let's go ahead and walk down through here. Okay, and uh, it is, okay, Kenai River upper boundary marker here. This is the furthest in that they, uh, uh, for personal use, gill net for hooligan, and that's April 1st through June 15th. That's actually, uh, uh, you know, so, you, so no further up for personal use. So this is the most inland uh, they want you doing this. Okay, so you can take a look at that. And then this a uh, little bit muddy, but not too bad. I'm not sinking into the mud. Uh, down to the river here. Okay, we'll walk a little bit down there. I'm not wearing any uh, my extra tufts or uh, waders because uh, I've already looked down here. And the reason why we're moving on is because the bank is pretty steep. Okay, if it was just me and my wife, 
uh, we'd go ahead and probably uh, give it a shot here. Um, that doesn't look so steep. Okay, the uh, the whole bank here is, starts about uh, here, and it goes up, uh, and that's all that real sticky glacial silt, mudded stuff. It's super slick. Matter of fact, uh, uh, my wife's not listening, so I can tell on her. Uh, she walked down here to get a picture, and one of those little scrabble marks is her. She actually went in the drink a couple minutes ago because it's super slippery. So uh, we are not going to bring our little kids down here. Um, there is some gravel right there I see so you wouldn't sink down in it to it so much um, but this is not really a place that I am comfortable just let my kids kind of run around um, if, uh, if adults slip and fall and go in the water then certainly kids can um, but it is beautiful I'm looking at towards the uh, Kenai mountains uh, out there in the distance um, probably can I gotta try to do a quick zoom in because they are beautiful there you go all right so, kind of a windy, partially, mostly overcast day, but it is beautiful up here. But we're not staying here, like I said. Uh, we'd like to catch the tail in a hooligan. Um, nobody else is out here fishing, so we have the place to ourselves. That's lovely. And it does have this little uh, uh, overlook, so you can sit up here and uh, watch the river go by. Can't fish from here. That's all right. You can sit here and look at it. But like I said, we're going to go ahead and move along. Um... There is a, uh, we got a couple extra people came in here. There is a little fenced off area here. You can let your kids run around a little bit, and that's nice, but it's just not enough space for a bunch of little kids, okay? If you're by yourself, if you're with a couple friends, uh, give it a shot. It is slip, and uh, I'm not walking down to the water, but it gets deep quick there. Uh, that's probably why they fish for hooligan. And then, of course, once the salmon start running, you'll see people down here fishing for salmon. Because uh, the river gets uh, pretty deep pretty quick there, so great place pick up some fish that's why we came here uh, but we're moving on because just not uh, not a great spot for uh, for kids for a, for a relaxing day for a family okay so moving on from there uh, I will uh, there's this little uh, memorial bench here in loving memory of Howard Ray I guess he fished here from 1988 to 2011 I certainly do not know mr. Howard Ray but uh, you know I'll nod my head in his memory if he was uh, significant enough to get a memorial bench at Cunningham Park in Kenai Peninsula then uh, uh, he must have something going for him okay uh, and that's oh there we go there's a uh, there's a bald eagle waiting for the salmon to come in across the route there I don't know if you can see it in my uh, my video but it's right here oh, there's my fingernail okay right over there okay and that's all I've got Nice little spot if you're by yourself. Pretty slick, a little bit muddy. All right, on to the next spot.